Hello, this is Ava Rowe, and today I'm going to tell you about Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 of To Kill a Mockingbird. As September sets in, Charles Baker Harris, known as Dale, leaves Maycomb, Alabama for Meridian, Mississippi, just before Jim and Scout start school. Scout is excited to begin first grade. Chapter 2 reveals that Jim does not want Scout to acknowledge him at school because he does not want to associate with her or have her embarrass him. Scout already knows how to read and can write very well. She's above her grade level. Miss Caroline is a new teacher and she doesn't know what to do with Scout because Scout is very smart. Miss Caroline tells Scout that her family needs to stop teaching her things because they aren't teaching the way Scout needs to be taught. Next, Miss Caroline offers to buy Walter Cunningham lunch because he didn't carry any, but Walter says he has no means of paying her back. And Scout explains that the Cunninghams don't take what they can't pay back. This is because they are poor farmers as stated in chapter one. Miss Caroline sends Scout to the corner because she was being sassy. On to chapter three. In this chapter, Scout and Walter get into a fight on the playground because he didn't say anything to Miss Caroline about why he couldn't accept the money for lunch. Scout spoke up and she got in trouble for it. Jim stops the fight. He feels bad for him because Walter is a son of a man Jim's father Atticus had defended in court. Jim invites Walter home for lunch, but Walter is hesitant at first. But later he joins Scout and Jim as they are walking away. At home, Scout asks Walter why he is putting syrup in his lunch. Calpurnia calls her to the kitchen and scolds her for embarrassing him and returns only to say that Walter is just a Cunningham. So Calpurnia sends Scout back to the kitchen to eat alone. Scout and Walter start back to school after lunch, except Scout stays back to convince her father Atticus to fire Calpurnia because she thinks Calpurnia likes Jim better than her. After lunch, Miss Caroline is upset because one of the Ewell kids has head lice. The kids in the class explain that it isn't a big deal because they never stay in school. They only come the first day so they don't get in trouble with the truant officer. This is because they have to work on the farm, but Miss Caroline doesn't know this because she doesn't know the people of Maycomb well enough. Later that night, Scout was shocked by Calpurnia's kindness because she was upset with her earlier. Next, Atticus asks Scout to read with him after supper, but Scout tells her father to stop teaching her. She wanted to be like the Yules and never go back to school again. 
Atticus explains to Scout that the Yules are a special case and they need to stay home to help out on the farm and that they have a different lifestyle than most families. They strike a deal that Scout will continue to go back to school and they will keep reading together like they used to and not tell anyone. See you on the next episode of To Kill Mockingbird.